What's up guys, Kyle here, back with another video and yeah, I know it's been a while, I'm working on it, I'm gonna get on back on track soon, hopefully I'm trying my best. So yeah guys, um, here I got a hybrid leg workout, it's pretty high volume and you're gonna really feel fatigued, it's gonna challenge your cardio strength as well. And the goal of this workout is to increase your um, athletic abilities and to improve your muscular development. So yeah, here I am just doing some ATG squats um, with 20 kgs, I think 135 as to grass, um, 12 to 15 reps for 4 sets. Now the volume will be really high, like I said, it's going to work on endurance as well. Yeah, so you are definitely going to be sore the next day if you've not done high volume leg days in a while, like me. Like before this, I was just doing 5 into 5s, improving my squat strength. And then we move, we'll move on to some walking lunges. This again is a very um, like functional movement because you're constantly trying to balance your body. The weight is moving forward. It's gonna work your glutes, hamstrings, quads, your complete legs, uh, except your calves. And, and calves will be added at the end of this video. So watch out for that. And my current stats are um, 70 kgs in weight and 5'11 in height. So I've gained a lot of weight over the last few months. Alright guys, so the next exercise is going to be broad jumps, basically squat jumps, but I would not recommend it doing it on this kind of surface, it's really hard, but I gotta make do with what I have, and also guys, let me know if I should grow my hair or not, because my hair is overgrown now, and I'm not sure whether I should make it long or not, I'm just, I'm just gonna post a picture of me when I was younger, when I had long hair, and let me know in the comment section whether I should cut my hair or not. Alright guys, so we are gonna move on to broad jumps also known as squat jumps now i would not recommend doing it on a hard surface because it's going to be bad for your knees you're going to feel it the next year on your knees and that's not the best case scenario so try and get like a a rubberized flooring or something and yeah it's just four reps or four sets give it your all go like jump as far as you can but you are going to be fatigued and your, your jumping won't be as good as it can be because of all the squats and lunges and stuff so yeah give it your all now we're going to move on to the more isolation movements, so it's going to be some leg extensions, um, 12, to 12 to 15 reps of 3 sets of this, and yeah guys, make sure to stay till the end for some leg flexing tips, or like, it's just one tip, but it's really important and I'm 100% that you guys will like it, it's like, really important. Okay, now we'll move on to some lying hamstring curls. Now, this is one of the best exercises for hamstrings. Um, one secret I'll give is that um, to put the pad lower on your on your leg, like closer to where your calves start. And when you reach failure, do some um, half reps, squeezing at the top. That really like gush extra um, blood into your hamstrings. And then we'll move on to some calves, just so that we don't neglect them. Some seated calf raises. Now we're gonna go heavy on this. We're gonna do go, do 14 reps or four sets. One set 14 reps, one set 12 reps, then 10 and then 8. Yeah. So just make sure you go all the way down, go all the way up, and squeeze for like a second or two. Make sure you get a squeeze though, because that's the most important in the calves. Now calves are mostly genetic. I've got pretty lean calves, not that big. So just try your best to increase your strength in your calves and then calves gains will come but it's going to be much slower than the rest of your body because it's very genetically uh, determined so yeah just give it your all increase your strength and you'll get there so here's my tip all right guys so i found one place with decent lighting and i just want to show you guys something so i've been noticing that when i've been training legs after my leg session i've been using definition in my legs then i looked it up and realized that like your definition leaves your body Leave your legs after you train legs, so don't go for any for like photo shooting or like flexing and stuff after you train legs because you're just gonna be disappointing. Disappointed because as you can see, I've lost a lot of definition already because of the pump you get in your legs. So, yeah, just a tip for you guys always take photos of your legs before you train your legs. <laughs> 